Good day. Today, the Red Dane's top tip is about dehorning your calves. Very important pr procedure that has to be done. Maybe not the, the, your favorite procedure on the farm, but if you don't do it, the cows get long horns and they end up hurting each other. They might hurt you or they grow into funny shapes and actually grow into the cow and, and, and require removal when the cow's older. And uh, th there's no doubt dehorning is something for, for the sake of the animals it needs to be done as early as possible. We like to do it from at, at two weeks old, between two and three weeks, as soon as the little bud is forming. So the first thing, you've got to make sure you've got the right equipment. The, we find that the, the Taltec calf, calf clamp makes life really simple. Um, you, you just get the calf in here and hold its head as we'll show you later. You obviously need a, a dehorning iron. There's a number of different ones on the market. This gas dehorning iron we find is very easy to, to use and it's important that it's raised on the outside and hollow on the inside. Um, obviously you need a, some matches to light your, light your uh, gas dehorner and we at uh, Red Dane obviously Worry, worry about the well-being of our animals and, and, and uh, so we use a painkiller um, on each calf to make sure that they recover as quickly as possible and don't feel the, the uncomfortable procedure. And finally you need some wound spray or, or, or something just to spray on top of the horn to, to avoid against getting infections afterwards. Obviously you want to ensure that you use a clean needle for each calf to stop spreading any diseases um, and a sanitized uh, a reusable syringe or, or a once used syringe. It's important to, to, to light the, the gas um, and allow the, the iron to heat up to the required temperature before you start handling the calves. Always, it's good to um, you never use a gas canister smaller than sort of four kgs. Um, the, the smaller canisters don't have the required pressure to operate the, the dehorning irons correctly. So this is a pretty good dehorning iron, nice and easy to handle. Um, and with a, with, with a copper or stainless steel end and, and as I explained it's raised on the outside. This one's a bit worn, you'd rather it was a bit more raised with a, with a hollow indent. What you've got to remember when you're dehorning is that it's similar to a nail. It's only the area where the nail comes out that needs to be, that needs to be burnt and um, to stop it growing. The end of the, the nail and the end of the horn have no um, there's no need to burn it. That's why we have a hollow part because the growth comes from the outside of the horn and similar to your nail. Using the, the Taltec calf clamp makes things really simple. It ensures that you hold the calf still so that it's not jumping around and getting hurt and getting stressed and enables you to burn the area that you need. What you do is you feel for the little bud. It's sometimes hard to see through the hair. Um, once you've identified the little bud, you, get, you, um, you then burn on that area. So. So don't overdo it, you're just burning the edge, um, not, not the hole. Doesn't matter if you leave a lump in the middle, just around the edge. But thanks to the painkiller, the calf doesn't feel too much pain. Okay, and then we finish off with a spray. Just to make sure she doesn't get any infection, job done. Sure, as I said, it's one of the procedures that that less pleasant, but we have to do it. As you can see, this one was done a few days ago. It's already dried up and clean, no infection, no wound, and the calf's got no pain at all. 